Say someone is interested in purchasing their first home. What are the most important first steps? Determine how much house you can afford. Get pre-qualified for a mortgage. Find the right real estate agent. Shop for your home, make an offer, and get a home inspection. Work with your mortgage company to secure your loan. Close on the loan and get the keys to your new home. How does one determine how much home they can afford? Before you start shopping for a home, you will get pre-qualified by a loan officer who will tell you your maximum amount you are eligible to borrow. You will need to map out an affordable budget based off your lifestyle and your future plans. Then apply for a mortgage based on what's realistic and comfortable for you. How does one know if they're ready to buy a house? Evaluate your finances. Do you have consistent income? Do you have extensive debt? Do you have stable employment? Evaluate the housing market. If you want to make a smart investment, be sure to purchase a home that will go up in value. A reputable realtor can assist you. Evaluate your stage of life. The process of buying a home is expensive, so make sure you're planning on living in your area for the next five to seven years to get your money's worth. Okay, so I checked my credit score today and it dropped 100 points. How will that affect me in getting a mortgage? A person with a high credit score shows the lender they are good with paying their obligations on time and will more than likely pay their mortgage on time each month. If you currently have a low score, take the necessary steps to pay your bills on time each month and pay off debt that you owe. You want the loan officer to see that you can effectively manage your money. Join us for the Fundamentals of Good Credit classes on Saturday, October 20th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, 3920 West Cardinal Drive. And remember, the classes are free. This is a collaboration between Faith Christian Center Church, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, and the Credit Coalition.